Alan Kasdan. Please join me in welcoming Alan. Thank you very, very much. Um, before, before I begin, I'd like to, I'd like to say a few things. Uh, first of all, I guess I'm done. It was very sweet. I don't need that. I'd like to just say a few things. Terry, um, for the, that, uh, that proofing thing required me to work very hard with the copy editor to make sure that they wouldn't correct it. You can imagine what that is. And, and uh, I have that sometimes in my articles. I have big notes to copy editors. Don't change this. This is like, and whatever. And so the first one. And the second one is I have some comments to make, and I don't think I'll be too long. But I'd like to just help Matt a little bit. So, uh, look, I mean, this is, this is beyond words. I, I was, uh, where to begin? But I have a few points I'd like to cover, and uh, beginning with thank you. I mean, it's beyond words. I was shocked to learn that this was even planned, it was going to be an event, and it, you could understand it because those of you who know me, which is most of you, know, know that I live a, a, a very private and monastic life. I hide a lot. And a few of you think I'm antisocial, and I'm happy to be labeled. It helps me. Um, but this all, as since you're multi psychologist, when did this uh, private monastic life start? Well, it actually, since you're a psychologist, it all began in childhood. So after, I'll be brief, but after a three year Oedipal phase, my, my mom and I started, uh, stopped dating. <laughs> and, and as a, And as a parting gesture on her part, she thought we could just be friends at this point. So she bought me a book about Matt Knox slides. And the book was a, a Benjamin Franklin book, and it had all these aphorisms. And I really related to the one that said that one should aim for a life that's healthy, wealthy, and wise. And I thought this should guide my life. But apparently, I misheard this, and it wasn't quite right. I thought Ben had said, stealthy, wealthy, and wise. So I recognized I'd never be wise, that was clear. And as a psychologist, I'm not going to be wealthy. But I could do stealthy. I could do that really well. And that, what you know, I've been doing that. And as for my retirement, I thought very seriously. I, it's actually planned that I'd be fading slowly and thought it would, I would slowly slip out of the department and Yale in my stealthy way. Really, it did. And I thought without any fanfare, someone might, someone might ask in a year or two, whatever happened to Kasdan? <laughs> and if I did this right, the person there would say, who? <laughs> that is good, stealthy. So, so this fanfare and, and this occasion and the remarkable comments, uh, it really, beyond words for me, really beyond words. I'm deeply touched, and, and it's, it's just hard to, to even comprehend. So I thank you for all your presence here, and, and, and uh, to see you all together, it's just wonderful. Let me say a little bit about your influence. Uh, as presenters, and many of you in the audience, you have actually had a lot of influence on me. And much of this influence has been watching you in action, whether generating studies, or making decisions, or presenting papers. I have some stories of, of each of you on all this, maybe I can squeeze in a couple. Uh, but very, this is this part's rather serious. Very early in sports, I learned that, they're very accidentally I learned that, that playing with individuals who are much, much better really increases one's skill very fast and very well. And I learned that accidentally, I learned it early, and it made a huge difference. And I realized that in my collaborative work with many of you. Many of you greatly exceed my ability and talents in specific areas as well as in general areas. And in each case, I could be concrete, but I wouldn't want to flatter you all, that it actually made a difference. And, and my work has been greatly improved by my interactions and contacts with you. 
Um, and I'm really, really grateful. I have inside jokes with many of you, and some of them are in bad taste, but some of them can be mentioned just as inside jokes. Ron Kessler educated me about the southern region of the United States. Jill Hooley knows that I care about ceiling effects in methodology and assessment, but she has talked with me and we've combined it to relate that to photography. Only Jill will know. Kelly Brownell and I share not fond memories of a student therapist who bites patients' thighs in treatment. Terry Wilson, uh, whose work is uniformly praised whenever he doesn't collaborate with me. But, but, <laughs> This is true, this is true. But when we collaborate together, our work is called nugatory. <laughs> and, 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 so, and so it goes with each of you. There's something very special, and I, I could go on. As I said, many of these are, are um, mega aggressions. Some are just macro aggressions, and the rest would be micro aggressions. So perhaps I won't keep going through all of those. Let me share a little bit about history. And, and what this festschrift shift means, and, and again, I'm so grateful. If you are over 60 years old, you can relate to what I'm going to say directly, and if you are in this room but under 60, this is what really awaits you. So some years ago, I received a Lifetime Achievement Award, and it was unexpected and, of course, very nice, and oh my God, of course I was honored. And it even came with a plaque, which was mixed because my dentist is always on me to avoid plaque. <laughs> But I did not reflect on what the award meant. I, I didn't think about it very much. It was very nice and on, and I went on with my work. Some years later, I received another, and then another. And now I pondered, is there a message here? <laughs> Perhaps the message is, Alan, wake up, or just go to sleep. You are done. You should get off the stage. And I could envision some awards committee saying, geez, we recognized him a few times, and he still doesn't get it. <laughs> so a few colleagues headed by Ty Cannon, got together and asked themselves, what can we do to get this guy to realize that he's done? <laughs> Ty jumps in and says, wait, I edit the annual review of clinical psychology. I'll invite him for professional autobiography. And when he sees the whole picture, he'll know that it's the beginning and <laughs> the end. <laughs> and so I did that. Thank you, Ty. And that was published in 2015. I'm still here. <laughs> so that didn't work. So the group reconvened. And one more time, they want to get together and, and say, what could we do to help Alan realize it's done and it's over? Because we want to get his space, his furniture, his keys, that quaint little payphone he uses in his office, and a formal goodbye. So the group said, the awards aren't working. Why don't we get together and brainstorm? And they sat in a room and it was silent for about 10 minutes. Then someone screams out, Festschrift, and the rest of the group says, Gesundheit. <laughs> because no one in this room really knows what a Festschrift is. A couple of you did the Googling. Good for you, that's a great source. Um, so the Festschrift, so the person explained it. I wasn't sneezing, and he said, Kasdan deserves the F word. <laughs> Let's give Kasdan. The F word will make it very clear what we mean. And so the fest trip was planned, and we're here all together, and I'm just delighted. Now, yesterday I was walking through campus, and this is real. I was walking through campus, and I came in contact with a computer scientist on campus, a colleague, and he stopped me, and he said, Alan, I saw that there's a fest trip tomorrow. I guess that means you will be moving on. Now, I would never ever underestimate Matt or Ty. And as naive as I am, I didn't for a minute think that was a spontaneous happening. I knew that this was a placed, a product message placement. And in my path, and the whole thing was staged. Geez, I said to myself, I would like the goodbye cues to really be a little more subtle. But then I looked back in my career and I figured I had the subtle ones and they really didn't work. And so here, I am completely grateful for the F word. I get it. I'm done. And, and I can't possibly thank you enough. I am so deeply touched by each of, each of your messages and, and all the things you did. And uh, 
uh, nothing I can say I can't put into words. Just thank you so much, and thank you for the plan. Thank you very much.